both of you. What is wrong? Did you both have a fight? Isn't it obvious now? Your perfect daughter finally lost her coat today and almost got us killed. Hmm. Is that true? Did you call it off with Ike? No, no, no. Did Adanze here have something to do with it? Yes, mother. She finally ran in that relationship. Come sit. Sit down, both of you. Sit. I don't know why she cannot get herself a old man. For some reason, she fears fell or on whatever I call mine. Oh, come on, Adana. Stop being dramatic. Well, I only slept with him. I never said I was going to marry him. What happened to sharing? Are we not twins? And twins are meant to share things together. Can, can you hear yourself? Mom, can you hear her? Imagine! Oh, my dear, that theory does not include sex. What is wrong with you? Why do you always stand on your sister's way to happiness? Don't you know you have to maintain privacy and boundary? Don't you? As usual, you don't care how I feel. I don't know this, I don't know that. Adana is the perfect one. Why me Adesa is the black sheep of the family? The ultimate villain. That who used to love me is no more. And I feel lonely even when I have my mother and my sister around. My dear, that I want you to be loved does not mean I will support the wrong thing. Adesa, grow up. Stop seeking for attention and love by doing the wrong thing. Stop it. I don't want it. Stop! And let this never repeat itself again. Do you hear me? I am in pain. I don't want any intention of pain. I am heartbroken. She's my blood, but she chose to hurt me. Chimo in of the 50 million? Yes, mom. Wow. They were blown away by our prepositions and presentations. This is good news. The type of report I want on my team. I highly commend you for doing great. Thanks, mom. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. And you, Adese, how did the meeting go? You know how important that client is to us. Like, seriously? Are you just reminding me now? I, I'm not reminding you. This is close of work. It is supposed to have been a done deal. I don't say that I'm reminding you. I'm sorry, Mom. Something came up. Something came up? What could be more important than the source of food and well-being of this family? You know how important that client is to us, and you stood him up. Mother, just my humble suggestion. If you say it is important, as you say it is now, don't you ever trust me with it. Oh. Adana enjoys taking care of important things. She's driven. That is like what's wrong with you. No, no, tell me. When will you ever be useful to yourself and to this family? When will you ever do something reasonable for yourself? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm such a disappointment. Not your perfect, shining daughter, Adana.
son, my precious son, the prince of Zobodo kingdom, the prince that brings light to his people, the heir apparent to the throne. Your father, the king, is delighted to welcome you back. It shall be well with you. He said. It shall be well with you. He said. It shall be well with you. He said. Thank you so much, Father. <laughs> my son. My priceless son. The finest of them all. The light that shines and darkness disappears in Zobu the kingdom. The next ruler of this great kingdom. My priceless ornament, your mother, the queen, welcomes you back home. No, no. Thank you so much, ma'am. Afu mwe lutana. Ome kanya. I so much appreciate you. You're welcome, <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so very much, mother. And thank you so much, father. Yeah, I'm so welcome. glad to be back home. You're welcome, my son. Thank you. <laughs> sister and not my mother. So I just your tone when talking to me. Do I detect sarcasm and contempt in your tone? Adeze, I worry about you. Someone who drives and drinks is a little closer to the grave. So what do we call someone who work and walk alive without having any form? Isn't she a walking corpse? Adeze, you spend and relax in all those places because I work very hard to make sure that money never runs dry in our company's account. So that is why I'm so grateful to you. So we have to continue to work and make sure I have a comfortable life. You can take over the company and become the boss lady. I won't even bother you. I don't even have any interest in running or competing with you in our father's company. What I want is just go for shopping and have fun and marry a powerful, and stinking rich. Nah. You see, that is my ambition. And working in our father's company is not part of that. Do you get it? Adese. Adese, come back here, Adese. I say, come back here. She's troublesome. She's arrogant. She's deep. She lacks respect, she is wild and contemptuous. Ooh, she Hello, I'm working on wish to be left alone. I've always told you that you're the world's most boring twin sister. Thank you, Aniva. Please, can you leave us? You can see me. Uh, I'm still angry with me about it, okay? But I already said I'm sorry for being the cause of the job. Why are you still giving me shoulders? I'm trying to move. I'm working. Okay, fine. What is it that is so important in your husband's Thanks for being my sister for just a minute. Like the princess in town. Have you seen him? Wow. So this is that most important thing that made me doubt my work. Where have you seen the prince? And for information, I'm too busy trying to keep the family business than running after the prince. I was too serious all the time. You know what? 
He always told me to find myself a man and settle down. I've decided to make things mine. Good luck to that. And then you get Thank you. Miss Perfect. You have been drinking, right? Yes, Mom. Why? Am I not allowed to pour my excitement? I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I'm worried that you drink and drive. You're not only a danger to yourself on the highway, what you are to other motorists. Oh, come on, Adana. It was just a short distance. I met with the prince. He's so, so handsome. <laughs> My encounter with him made me drunk. A mom that makes sense. Oh. My God. Just, no, no. Who did this to you? Eh? Just when I feel it is getting better, you're getting worse. Come on, mom. You're looking at the future queen of this kingdom. Mom, you think, Mom, look, you think I'm senseless, right? One day, I'm going to make you proud. I'm giving you grandchildren of royal descent. <laughs> I'm sure when she finds a purpose and drive, she'll be less drunk and stay focused. Just give her some time, okay? Some time? Yes, Mom. I know she will change. Oh, um, whatever. <laughs> oh, forget about her. Mom, she will change. Let's continue what we're doing. She's troublesome. She's arrogant. She's devious. She lacks respect. She's wild. <laughs> oh my God. Babe, <laughs> uh? this doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> like, how did you learn how to win a man's heart by becoming his enemy? Haven't you heard the saying? Opposite attracts. The prince is used to women groveling around him. But he has met a woman who doesn't care about his status and stands up to him. <laughs> and you feel that is a good thing? <laughs> oh my dear, that was such an unforgettable experience. I'm sure right now he'll be dying of curiosity to know where I'm from and who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, uh -huh. you just have to be very careful. Yes. You do not want to incur the wrath of royal house simply because of strategy to be noticed by the prince. It doesn't worth it at all. <laughs> Worry about yourself, my dear. Worry about yourself. Hmm? 
Anyway, I wish you all the best, my darling. Thank you, my darling. <laughs> my strategy is working. Emeka, you are my childhood friend. We played like equals. Why are you overdoing it? My prince and my best friend. I know once upon a time, we seemed like equals when we played together. But the reality is, we are never equals. You are the crown prince and heir apparent to the throne and I'm your personal assistant. Friendship apart, I will discharge my duty as your personal assistant, my prince. Why am I not so surprised? You take things too seriously. You take things to the extremity. So tell me, where do you suggest we go? <sighs> to punish that saucy commoner for daring to talk to my prince in that way will make an example out of her. You're right. But I cannot waste my time on some girl who lacks proper home training. Let just ignore her. Otherwise, we'll be giving her existence some importance. Come on, we've got better things to do. Seeing you two makes me want to get married. Yeah, but then again, I realize it's not everyone who is lucky in rulership and love. Let me tell you something. <laughs> My son, eh, we'll be lucky. Yes. Because luck runs in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> your father is right, son. You are a good man and a good future king. You will naturally attract a good woman that will become the future queen. It's good you brought up this subject because I've been itching to discuss it. You know, the neighboring kingdom of Zaza, so as to bring unity and security in both kingdoms. Not only that, my son, my very good friend, Ikemba Tu of Oswala. Huh? have suggested that we really bring this relationship closer so as to have their daughter married to you. <laughs> I like that. My son is now the most wanted bachelor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why won't he be? Mm -hmm. He is handsome, gentle, and energetic. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Mother. You're welcome, son. But honestly, I'm not interested in any woman. <laughs> yeah. They come with their own fair share drama. And as far as the crown is concerned, I don't want to make things more complicated. So, I'm not interested in getting married, at least not anytime soon. You see, just like ascending the throne, is your responsibility to your people. 
and then finding a queen. This matter should not be discussed at all. A fact. In fact, your getting married is a must. Yes. That's a good time. Something serious for the first time. Quit the sarcasm, it does not suit you. I'm not sarcastic. Just that you've made talking the print a full time business. It is a very difficult thing, you know. But I'm getting this attention, and that's not rewarding enough. Adesi, if you can put this determination and drive into bringing the prince to invest in our family business. We will be unstoppable, you know. But then, uh, I've told you time and time that I have no intention of dragging the business for my duty. That is your thing. I have no interest in competing. Keep working, sis, while I become the future queen of this game. how angry he was. He even threatened to kill me. That means I must have gotten under his skin. <laughs> and you think this is a good thing? Uh, it's not completely bad. At least I've gotten his attention. So the next thing to do now is just to flip from enemy to lover. Lovers? Yes, just to change the narrative. <sighs> Wait. 
You mean lovers. <laughs> Let me understand this. You mean to tell me you will continue to show yourself at him? <sighs> Baby girl, you don't have to do this because he will consider you as a stalker. <laughs> and that will be embarrassing, you know that. Come on, baby girl. That is if I'm being too obvious. So let me tell you something. I and Desi have successfully slept with my sister's boyfriend. Not one, not two, not three, but four. Did you think I made that by being obvious? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me tell you something. The act of seduction applies mind game eh? and not body movement. Babe, calm down. Eh? You're always talking about ruining your sister's happiness as if it's something to be proud of. Can we not digress? We're talking about getting the prince in full costume wear. We're talking about now to transit from enemy to lover. But I have to make favorable coincidences. I think I have a perfect plan. Really? Just a simple, bam, one solid one. Just change the narrative. Just perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so very soon, you're looking at the future way of this kingdom. <laughs> Just one knuckle. Are you serious? One knuckle. <laughs> I wish you all the best, baby girl. Oh, thanks, darling. And cheers to that. Cheers. <laughs> Talking about the lunch, you know I have thanked you before and I want to say thank you again because it was so, so delicious. <laughs> well, in actual fact, I should be thanking you even more because if you weren't around, I would have lost my phone for good. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad I was able to save the day. But I'm not satisfied with your kind of appreciation. Ask anything more. The prince is very benevolent. Really? Just say it and I will do it so I can return to the palace. I should be in the palace by now. Please, my prince, uh, since you said you're in a hurry, I would want you to visit again. There's this game I want us to play together. I want to teach you. That's all. That's it? Yes, my prince. Okay. Yes. Consider it done. Wow, thank you, my prince. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Okay, I promise to visit again. Okay, my prince. You have a nice day. No, I must see you to the car. Sure. Yes, up to you. seem to be in a very good mood. What is going on? Yes, Mom, everything is cool. The prince brought me home today. <sighs> yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. 
So your hours of stalking the prince has finally paid off. How can you be so contemptuous? Why? You have to know that I'm getting the attention of someone so important. Do you wish it is you, the perfect shining daughter of Margaret? Enough. Enough, both of you. Stop this bickering. Mom, I wasn't trying to cause a fight. I wanted to congratulate her. You know it's not easy to get the attention of the prince. I'm sorry I don't need it. Because that's fake as you are. Anyway, mother, I want you all to prepare. Because very soon, we'll be in-laws to the royal house. <laughs> 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 Mm. It's okay, Adese. Mm. I love your positivity. Aww. Mm. But I want you to be extremely careful so you don't get hurt. Oh, mother, it feels so good to know that you still care about me. Thank you. Mm. I really do. Okay. I mm. love both of you. You are my babies. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the the crazy commoner you always ask me to punish? You mean she recovered what was stolen? She doesn't like you. Why would she help you? Well, I guess uh, I judged her wrongly. It was not your fault, my prince. Her first impression was bad. She's a very brave girl, very brave. And I think we're going to be her friend. I'll visit her house to properly appreciate her for what she has done. She has come to my aid. My Prince, please allow me to accompany you everywhere you go now. The King will not be pleased if I left you alone. But well, that was my request. You shouldn't blame it on you. Come, let's go. <laughs> Your Highness, you said you are taking me out. Yeah, I would like to take you to my favorite spots within the office. Wow, that sounds good. Please, can you give me some minutes? Let me go ahead and change to something more. That should be a problem. Okay. I'll be right back. Mosaro has books. You better treat her like a queen if you want to be treated like a king. You can drive a set. Mothers and a king to his needs by Grace Wheel. Grace Wheel, a very intelligent woman. But as loyal as the future king, I can't believe a woman can die. Your Highness, you are here. I'm good. I'm dead, Madame Nashi, my sister. Oh! <laughs> I've you got to wait. Yes, your highness. Okay. Well, I'm actually here to take a DSA out. I'm sorry for interrupting. I have no problem. Yeah, but I'm interested in how can a woman get king to this news? Greatness, your highness. A woman is a goddess. Very tender, yet strong. Fragile. 
Like in a game of chess, a woman is considered very powerful, capable of saving the king. Don't you think a woman like that can drive the king to his knees? Maybe gratitude, but not defeat, not submission. He's still on his knees. For whatever reason. You're a wonderful time. Thank you. <laughs> But actually, uh, inspirational, motivational quotes. It's one of my many heroes. I see you have something in common. <laughs> Thank you. It was actually refreshing. You're welcome. Um, I wish you good luck. That's a good luck, sister. Alright. Adam. 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 Same here, same here. <laughs> this is the best time a company I've had ever since I returned. Really? Yeah. Aside the insightful argument I had with Adana earlier today. <laughs> I guess I missed out. And um, what did you argue about? Um, the prince also loves motivational quotes, but like a typical blue blood, he doesn't like anything that elevates a woman. Um, well, I'm not totally against that. Just that I'm trying to find a justifiable reason to what was said and why I should accept it. Do I manage to convince you? Not really. Maybe some other time when I come back here. Probably <laughs> you manage to convince me. No, I'll be the one to do the convincing. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, it was nice meeting you. The pleasure is indeed mine, Your Highness. Yeah. What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Studying, of course. I see. But you've always hated this thing, code book. Uh, he said it's boring. What about about them still haven't changed? I'm glad to find out that the prince likes this boring thing, code books. If I can learn and master the quotes, you know, we'll get along very well. Like um, having things in common? Exactly, and shared some sort of experiences. <laughs> Can you just leave me now? I need to master them when next they come. I need to impress him. You're welcome. Excuse me, sis. Thanks for making me know the other side. You're welcome. Um. Just, um, a little bonus tips. Don't just let the quotes. Build an argument around it. Because the prince will always make you doubt what he believes. Do you hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I just like that. 
They're trying to show me that you know the prince more than I do in just one day. Ah! Notice me or I die. Ah, I'll forget here. Hmm. Put this thing is hard though. I don't even know where to start. I've been looking from beginning to here. Help me, oh. Help me, oh. Ah. You seem to be in a very good mood. Well, let's just say I'm enjoying my stay for the very first time. <laughs> my king, our prince here must have started seeing someone. Who is she? Tell me, who is this beauty that moved your stony heart? <laughs> Come on, mother. My life is not a movie. I'm not in love. But you can't deny seeing someone. Who is this girl? Is she a princess? Or... daughter of a chief? Um, let's just say she's a middle-class girl. Yeah. I said it. <laughs> I said it. That sooner or later, our son will get fascinated by someone. My king, our son the prince, is interested in someone. <laughs> no, more like curious, that's all. But what is the difference? Interest leads to curiosity. Exactly. See, my son, any time you find this girl and you love her, don't hesitate to let your mother and I know. Please, sir. Well, maybe it's not going to be anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, may we proceed to the dining? Oh, sure. <laughs> Obviously. Okay. Uh, Right? This is so, so <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, my darling. Thanks. It's okay. You know, I trust your judgment, so I don't need to test it. I know. <laughs> Babe, what is the occasion you are planning to attend that you decided to rent a royal dress? The prince is visiting. Uh -uh. It is not his first time visiting. Is he taking you to somewhere classy <laughs> and aristocratic? Uh, it could be. You know, I want to look my best when Nestle comes. <laughs> Babe, I understand that he is the prince uh -huh. and his royalty. But I advise you to be you. Make it natural. What will be will be. What happens when you cannot keep up with renting off this dress? Oh, come on. Can you stop for a minute and be happy for me? You need to be my friend and not a bickering old woman. Come on. You know how hard I worked to get here? Okay. I think he really likes me. Really? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's really happening, Chiwe. It's really happening. 
I'm finally getting closer to fulfilling my dreams of becoming the future queen of this kingdom. Wow. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Thanks, my darling. Wait. But until the prince tells you how he feel about you, just calm down. Don't expect too much. I am happy for how far you have gone. It's not easy getting his attention. You know that. <laughs> Even making him visit regularly is huge. Congratulations in advance. Thanks, my darling. <laughs> I am happy for All you. All I know is that I am soon going to be the future queen. Uh -huh. <laughs> Please. Don't forget me. Ah uh ah. -uh. <laughs> you always be there with me. We're gonna run things in the kingdom. You know how we do it. I hmm? know. <laughs> Baby. It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart you play. Hello? Adesi? Where are you? Are you expecting the prince today? Oh my god. I saw him live with your sister. Adana! How am I supposed to know where they were going? Just hurry. I am waiting. Okay? much refreshing you know <laughs> <laughs> um did you notice you've been smiling your highness well i guess it's obvious that i'm happy you're here <laughs> <laughs> adesi would have loved to visit the palace adesi mm. can always come visit him at any time <laughs> <laughs> so uh, i think it's time for lunch don't um. mind I'm still enjoying the freshness uh, of the palace. Enjoying the freshness of the palace. <laughs> you know, I feel burdened. I... So much expectations. I don't have an idea of becoming or how to be a good king to my people. Your Highness, <clears throat> it is rare to see a future king admit to his weaknesses and uncertainty. Why are you telling me this? Let's just say I can trust you. I just trend from your company. Your presence is so refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Highness. I'm humbled by your compliments. If my words will be of any help, I think you're a good man. 
I will someday make a fine ruler. A kingdom draws strength from the king. And the king draws strength from his queen. I pray you find a woman who will trust in your abilities and greatness to rule beside you. Thank you. Thank you, Adana. <laughs> no thanks. I'm glad my words were aspiring. Of course they were. <laughs> Very aspiring. <sighs> so, uh, I'll take you around. Okay. Uh, since you're not ready for lunch, <laughs> I'll take you on the other side of the palace. Okay. The pl palace is indeed beautiful. I know. I love it. Hello, my darling. You're welcome. I hope I did not keep you waiting for long. It's okay. I was prepared. Oh. So, what's up? Have you called the prince? Considering you both we are supposed to meet today. I've been calling, but he's not picking my calls. How can he pick your call when he's having a good time with your sister? And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Babe. You need to see these people together. They look so happy, like a couple. <laughs> if I didn't know anything about them, I would have thought they were dating. I don't know what you think you saw, but the prince I know likes me so much. And it's natural for him to be nice to my twin sister. My dear, I saw more than that. Honestly, what I saw, <laughs> I saw a picture of a man adoring his woman. <laughs> I think he's into your sister. <laughs> no, that's no way. The prince has been constantly visiting her to see me. I guess two of them being together alone, they must have been planning a surprise proposal for me. Really? And it's no good for me to know beforehand. <laughs> So you trust him to that extent? Of course I do. You do? Yes. Hey! <laughs> you trust a man like that. You go to trust man. Man! Hannah. My dear, you just have to be careful. I am telling you. You don't have to trust these people like this. Okay, let me ask you something. What if he really liked you? And after meeting your sister, He called me and I said it would be nice to have him around. Yes, it's always nice to have you around. But I thought you always had to see me. Yes, I do. Uh, except that Adana here became my friend. So I'm actually here to see the both of you. <laughs> As for the calling, I, uh, for the fact that both of you live together, it's obvious that she's definitely going to tell you that I called. Well, she didn't. Imagine how surprised I am to see you. You have not been picking my calls. Why? And I was told that you visited the other day and went out with Adana. Yes. Um, he took me to the palace. The palace is beautiful. I only wish you were there with us. Wow. <laughs> I always wanted to be the first to visit the palace. I guess her days are dead before me. And she's always getting things before I do. Isn't she lucky? Huh? Uh, <clears throat> not to worry, okay? I would definitely give you a tour of the palace. Okay. <laughs> Shh. 
She's troublesome, she's arrogant, she's devious, she lacks respect, she's wild and contemptuous. Who is she? She's a betrayer. Wow, that was the praise of the phone. He has accepted to invest. Thank you. I really appreciate you for making this happen, Adana. It's not a room. We only talked about the family business. And he said, it's a nice thing to invest in our company. Like seriously? Even when I'm the one who met and introduced the prince to this family, I am still not appreciated. You're getting it all wrong, man. I know that the prince is coming to this family because of you. But I don't think you have ever mentioned this business to him. And Anna did. And that is why I am commending her for making a great move to secure this great investment. Wow! Will I ever be worthy in this family, mother? Will I ever get an applause? Mother, for you to appreciate me and not make me feel like a gender shadow. I say, Mother, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. What did I say that made her feel so angry? I don't know. I don't understand. Why can't I have a cordial and peaceful discussion with my own daughter? Why? I'm She's troublesome. She's arrogant. She's devious. She lacks respect. She's wild and contemptuous. What do you think you're doing? Can't you see what I'm doing? I don't care about the stupid thing you're doing. I'm talking about your recent closeness with the prince. Are you trying to steal him from me? No. The prince requested for my presence. Do you expect me to disobey his summon? <laughs> Obedient, respectful Adana. Come on, quit the excuses. You never had time for anything because you, you all swarmed up with work. But now you have the time to spend with the parents. Why don't you tell him that you're busy running the company? And there's it. Did you drink? Oh, come on. No, I drink anytime I wish. We're not talking about my alcoholic needs. So don't change the subject. You know I like the prince, and I've never wanted anyone in my life the way I want him. Please, back off. If you must be around him, just help me have him. Uh, I'm sorry, Adese. I, I never knew meeting with the prince without your consent. We are nephew. I promise to make you have a perfect love story. And that will make me happy. So back the hell off. She's troublesome. She's arrogant. She's devious. She lacks respect. She's wild and contemptuous. Who is she? She's a betrayer. Why? I told you, you would love the place I want to take you. That's nice, Your Highness, but I will respectfully decline. Do I bore you? Why is it that you don't like hanging out with me? Your Highness, you know I run our family business, and I have a lot to do. Well, I was looking forward to a very good company. 
Who said you're out of options? Adese is here and I know she would love to go out with you. But I love your company the more. Your Highness, you said both of us are your friends. Why not share the time equally? Well, fine, I'll go out with Adese this time around. But please make some time out for me. No problem, Your Highness. <laughs> <clears throat> it doesn't matter how long it takes One day the truth must be revealed It doesn't matter how smart you play One day every secret must be Could I be mistaken? This girl looks very much like the other one. Are they related? You're not wrong, mother. She's actually the twin sister to the other girl that was here a few days ago. Wow. You seem so excited. With the other one. But today, you sound like someone who is obligated to take her on a tour. <laughs> Mother, when did you become a detective? You are seeing things too much these days. Isn't it obvious? I mean, you were laughing and your eyes were shining like, um, you know, I don't know how to put it. You were just happy. Well. My hands are up. I didn't say anything. <laughs> Adesia has been calling me, but you're not taking her calls. I wish you'd stop calling me. I'm not interested in her. But you've been calling Adana, and she's not returning your calls. That is what I don't understand. I don't know why she's avoiding me. She obviously is. Why do I detect a triangular love story here? Adese liking you, you liking Adana. Well, that's because you watch too much romantic movies. I think I need to go and check on Adana. I'm a potential investor within a company. She's supposed to treat the professional and pick my calls. How do you expect that to take it professional when you're not professional about it yourself? Will you just shut up? <laughs> like I've had it here with you and the Queen all in my private life. Huh. Give this a try again. He's not picking my calls. He continues to ignore me. I guess it. He may be busy. He's the future king. You don't expect him to be by his phone 247. I didn't ask for your suggestion in this matter. I know what you're doing. You backed off and continue to ignore his calls because you want to prove to me that you are the good one. The big and kind hearted sister. I ruined your relationship. I messed with your happiness, yet you are refusing to take your crown of flesh. Instead, you play nice and supportive. How does it? I'm getting confused. You specifically asked me to back off, which I did. Why are you pissed? Because you behave like you are both certain human emotions. Like hate and the need for revenge. But I know how silly you are. You enjoy 
the fact that he's crazy to meet you. Yet, he ignores my call. The feeling is refreshing, isn't it? Ah, that's it. I've watched you blame me for your disappointment and, and failure. I have suffered for being good when you're not. Now listen. We are grown up now and this has to stop. And that's it. The prince is the man you want. Go and get him and stop blaming me for things not getting as expected. Back off. Disappear. You are the ghost. You are the ghost. I guess I am not. The prince is the man. Go after him and stop blaming me. Live my life. And that's it. I don't want to touch you because you're drunk. But next time you accuse me, you will see the other side of me. And then now. And then now. I said disappear. And then go after the prince and leave me the hell alone. going on? Have I said or done something wrong to you? Not in your highness. Why do you think so? So why you've been avoiding my calls? I should ask his highness the same question. You've been avoiding my calls, making me believe you've been very busy. But it seems you have some free time to drive down to ask my sister Adana why she has been avoiding your calls. I am the prince of this kingdom, your future king. I owe you no explanation. That is very harsh, your highness. Are we not supposed to be friends? I dare say. Can we all be quiet for some minutes? The prince is an important investor. I've been all professional not to be picking his calls. I'm sorry, your highness. Apology accepted. But this is not about business. I need us to talk. Can we go somewhere private and talk? I'm um, sorry, I can't. I'm already late to work. I'm full of information. You do not have my blessings to be with you. 
you truly love me, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to keep back. She is troublesome, she is arrogant, she is devious, she lacks respect, she is wild and contemptuous. Who is she? Well, I owe you an apology. I mean, it was wrong of me not to pick a fault. Besides, we're very good friends. Apology accepted. After all, we're good friends. And if the gods approve, we'll be more than friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. More like in-laws, like brothers and sisters. <laughs> Is that a joke? And what does that supposed to mean? Um, Adese. There is something I've been wanting to talk to you about. As my special friend, I need you to help me win your sister's heart. Because I never believe I will admit this openly. I'm in love with your sister. <laughs> wow. You, you like my sister, Adana? Yes. And... You want to have a relationship with her? Most definitely. Oh, that's fantastic. You see, ever since I've not seen or heard from her, I've been so miserable. And I told myself, that must be love. Mm. That's so great. But we're twins. Identical twin sister. Can I ask you, what is so special about my sister? Well, I'm not good with comparison. I've never compared both of you. You see, ever since I heard Adina speak, <laughs> there's something moved within me. And she completes my world. <laughs> I'm in love with her. <laughs> okay, but let me ask again. What does she have that I don't have? I thought I am, I am more appealing than my twin sister. What you see is not about the face, it's not about the look. There is something unique about her, but like you said, beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. Please, let's leave that for another day. Can you mm -hmm. please just do me a favor and win your sister's affection for, mm -hmm. over to me? Okay, I, I will. Thank you. I know you will. As my very good friend, I know you will. You always be there for me. And trust me, I have a bigger surprise. It doesn't matter how long it takes. Babe, did you bring me out to watch you drown in your sorrows? Are you not smart? I called you here to be my designated driver. I am drinking and I cannot take myself home. But with your clear head, you can drive us home safely. Babe, what is this all about? He rejected me. He did not even consider me an option. That idiot is crazy about my twin sister, Nana. Like what? Under a spell. But I told you. I told you about it. That he has feelings for your sister. But you never believed me. Okay, now see. The that ungrateful bitch. She just she was just waiting for the day. She will pay me back and snatch my happiness 
just like I did to her in the past. Just tell me what is so special about my sister Dana. Tell me. Don't even go there. She's intelligent and charismatic. <laughs> Since your father died, she has shouldered your family responsibility. Are you trying to rub it on my face? No. No. God. Just tell me that I am the loser that twins. One without a bright star. But I tell you something. That my sister is dry and boring. All she does is what I read the boring quotes. But I tell you, the prince will return to me when he realizes that my sister is not fun to be with. I tell you. Oh. So. You have no intention of giving up. What? Give what? Until the prince becomes mine. The prince. It doesn't matter it is how long mine. it takes. One day the truth must be revealed. It doesn't matter how smart.
Greetings, Your Majesties. May you continue to rule Spain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I've always seen you from a distance. But now I know you are such a black beauty. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. I'm here to see the prince. Oh. Mm. Uh, Dad, can you please give me a moment with her, please? <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. I'm happy you decided to visit. Why you look sad? Because my sister is sad. Your Highness, Adesa is in love with you. And she has been miserable not being with you. Please, just give her a chance. I promise she's fine and will make you happy. So what do I do with that case? The heart wants what it wants. I've already told her that I'm in love with you. Yeah. And I can't switch my feelings. Adana, you complete me. I'm happy with you. And I'm so happy around you. And I just wanted to be that way. I don't want anyone else to do it. I'm in love with you. Just you. It's okay. Okay, Your Majesty. Thank you very much. All right. Hmm. <laughs> As I live and breathe. That was the majesty calling. Wow. <laughs> so, mother, what did she say? She said that the royal family wants to get married to one of my daughters. So, I have been summoned to the palace to further discuss about the future alliance marriage with the royal family. Wow. <laughs> this is good. Did they say which of your daughter? Didn't you ask why reminding them that you have two daughters? But it is obvious, is it not? <laughs> it must be Adeze. <laughs> she met with the prince and made the prince visit our home. Yeah. Yes, and you know she has been saying it that um, very soon we are going to be in-laws with the royal family. So all those things she has been saying has come to pass. Yes, mother, I said I will become the future queen. And that is who I'm going to become. <laughs> the future queen of this oh kingdom. My oh my God. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm happy oh. for your sister. Thanks, mother. Are you not happy for me? I don't know. Your Majesties, I am privileged that you found my family worthy of such a prestigious alliance. <laughs> uh, you see, my son's happiness is my topmost priority. Yeah. If it is in your daughter that his happiness lies, I tell you, I will move mountains to actualize it. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen my son so happy the way he is since he met your daughter. You know my son is a gentle man. He wouldn't want to rush things. 
But at the same time, the royal business cannot wait. And you know, very soon he will become a king. Exactly. And every king needs a queen besides him. This king will be very, very happy if you accept our marriage proposal. Oh, your Majesties, I have two daughters. Though I can guess the particular one the prince is interested in. But for clarity purposes, which of my daughters do you seek for her hand in marriage for the prince? Hadana, of course. That girl left a lasting impression on me the last time I saw her. Madam Margaret, I must say that you raised a graceful and elegant young lady. <laughs> Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> Thank welcome. you for the kind words and acknowledgement. No. But um, you mean Adana or Adeze? My goodness, I am talking about Adana. My son has not stopped talking about her since he met her. I am of a strong opinion that my son loves your daughter so very much. Oh, okay. <laughs> We have a royal proposition for marriage alliance. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> but wait, how did it change? I mean, his interest. How? How do you mean, Mother? You already know. You already know. Mother is talking about how I made my feelings about the prince known and how I actively stalked and brought him home. Yes. Adeze is the one that has indicated her interest in the prince. Yes. She wanted the prince, but the royal family in turn wants Adana. They want the prince and Adana to get married. So I, I, don't, I don't understand. Adana, do you love the prince? Mother, it doesn't matter if she loves him or not. Adana, you must say no. Marriage doesn't happen by mere proposal. There's room for rejection. Adana, you must say no. He is mine, I you know it. Adese, the prince is not a thing to be toyed with or passed from one person to another. He equally has feelings. Mother, if Adana rejects him, he will hear when I show him kindness and he will fall in love with me. That is the only way that we peace in this house. Adana, look at me. I say look at me. You must say no. Did you hear me? You must say no. Hey! It doesn't matter how long it takes. One day the truth must be You asked to see me, is everything okay? Your Highness, what are you doing? I don't understand. Knowing fully well that Adeze is in love with you, you still went ahead to ask your parents to pursue a marriage alliance between me and you as your chosen bride. I can't be responsible for Adeze's feelings. Not everyone we see for belongs to us. I'm very sure with time, Adizi will understand that I'm in love with you. Your Highness, I can never marry you. Not without Adizi's blessings. Adizi has to be okay that I'm marrying you. She's my only sibling. She's my twin and I love her so much. And there's no reason why I'm crazy about you. She's my only sibling. My twin sister, and I love her so much. And that's why I'm crazy about you. Because you put everybody's feelings first. That's the future of a true queen. And you are going to be my queen. I'm very sure Adesi would adjust. 
I understand. If, as it, if Adesi truly loves you as much as you do, she'll be happy for you and celebrate you that you found love. She should be. Adeze, I love the prince, and I think I'm going to accept his marriage proposal. No, you won't. The prince is not yours. He's mine. Remember when you mocked me that I'm stalking him? Don't you think I deserve him after all the hard work? I try to let go. If I walk out of the picture, the prince will not come for you. I'll be miserable. The prince will be miserable and you will still not get what you want. That is the chance I am willing to take. The prince never liked me the moment we met, but I managed to change everything that he visited. If you were not in the picture, I, Adese, would have been the one in the prince's heart. Adese, you have ruined my relationship in the past. You have made me suffer. Now that I've found one opportunity to love, my sister, you need to be happy for me. At least if you have an altar of love. Adana, reject that proposal or you have me to go to work with. Did you hear me? from me. She has taken away your love. The community's respect. And now she has taken away my happiness, mother. Adese, I understand how you feel right now. I know what it means to love someone and you're not loved in return. But you just have to let go. Okay? No, mother. I've always known that a day will come when she will choose to pay me for sleeping with her fiancé and ruining her marriage. Mother, we have come to that day of vengeance, mother. No, no. What, what, what if... This is not all about revenge. What if Adana is truly in love with the prince? Wouldn't you be happy for your sister? I knew it, mother. You will never see anything wrong in your perfect shining daughter. She's perfect. Everyone, including the prince, thinks so. I wish. I wish I was never born with her. Mother, I will not accept the fate of a loser. I will take it all. Because the prince is mine. The prince is mine, mother. He is mine. No, Adez, I'm not sure the prince will like this. Why? I think he prefers my natural way. Don't you like my recent closeness to you? I'm trying to make you beautiful for the prince, and you're not pushing me away. Okay. No, 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 no. You can apply it. Are you sure? Yes. Is it from your heart? <laughs> mm. If only you know my reason for doing this. If only you know. It doesn't matter how long it takes. 
One day the truth must be revealed It doesn't matter how smart you play a very expensive friend. It speaks history and pricelessness. Oh my god. Oh, this is beautiful. I always wondered how beautiful and expensive a royal engagement ring looks like. Thanks to you, I get to see and feel one. Wow. <laughs> Can I have a few, please? Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see how it is. Wow. Ooh <laughs> la la, Momsi. Mm? Is it not beautiful? It is. The ring has come to its owner. Yes. This is the rightful finger and the owner of the ring. <laughs> oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you give it back to me, please? Oh, Can I have you shut up? I told you that the prince is mine and mine alone. What makes you think I will sit and watch your marriage take place? Not while I'm alive. Mom, did you see that? I don't know. 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 What is all this now? I, how are you feeling? I am feeling Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I hope you like your room. interest in the company of investors. Uh, I mean, we actually used to be on a holiday for the accident. 